Hey you guys and what is up? So this is a little bit of a different angle for what we normally do, but today I wanted to, today's Sunday, so this is my day where I'm currently at, and I, um, our pop-up got canceled. I think I talked about it on here, but we have, my friend and I have a boutique together. We had our first pop-up on the 16th, which is today. Um, while I'm recording this, but it got canceled because the weather was supposed to be junky, but it cleared up and it didn't even rain, but whatever. That's beside the point. Um, but let me grab my pen. I'm not going to do this this time around, which is to take pictures of um, new earrings and items. I'm also not going to do um, new bracelets. I need to fold clothes, clean the house. And what I'm currently want to do, what I want to record is actually print inserts. So I have to print some for wellness, weekly, yearly, monthly, and notes. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I don't know if I talked about it, but I am trying out an A5 size. I love it. My friend Veronica sent me this cover. I used to have it from the um, cloth and paper subscription box, but I gave it to my friend um, because she wanted to use A5 size. And then I realized I want to use A5 size. And it's like, I love this community because everybody's like, well, I don't want to use that size. So here, and then, you know, it's just kind of like, you get to share the love. So it was pretty awesome that she sent me this cover um, and I'm trying it out. She also sent me a few um, dashboards, which I'm so excited about. But anyways, I'm gonna print out some of these things and I wanted to show you all how I do that. So I have a lot of um, free printables on here that I bought from, and let me zoom this in a little bit, that I bought from um, Etsy. Etsy is such a great place to get like cheaper stuff and I'm sorry my computer is so dirty but it's such a great place to get um cheaper things from and a, it's a good way to also test things out um so what I have here I have a file with a5 and I also have um a file with where did I, what did I do with it huh okay well I did have one that had um personal size I think it must be in here I don't know whatever but Okay, so I, what I wanted to do is print out monthly. So 2021, I think it's that one. These are by um, Sammy's Planner, and she has these free on her Instagram. So it's a great way to get some free printables. She has the A5 size because that is what she uses. So um, I'm going to print some of these out. I do have, it's a brother... Um, printer it, it prints double-sided which is amazing um now i don't need the months from um what is it called from the beginning so like i don't need january i just need up to like what would it be um may so i think it's page seven i'm not well let me it's actually page 17 <laughs> cool <laughs> 17 through 32 that's a lot to print uh, but that's okay so i'm gonna go ahead and print it and it's double-sided which is great i don't know if you can hear it but it's currently printing so i have that i'm just gonna go ahead and do a little check mark on monthly then I also wanted to print um, another yearly because what I I have a yearly one at the front of my planner, but I accidentally did that, and I don't think that's what I'm going to use this for. So I want to print two of those out here at a glance. And I think this is also yeah, it's by Sammy's planner, and she has this um, printable on her Instagram, which is awesome. So I think it's her Dropbox. I'm going to remove the double-sided and print two copies of that. So print. Okay, so we have that. And I'm going to go over here. Let me scoot this up a little bit. Okay, so I have yearly. Okay, so this is my note paper. 
I bought these from Simple and Trendy Co. on um, um, Etsy. And it's like super inexpensive. It's like $3 for all of them, which is pretty awesome. So do that. And the scale always has to be um, 100. Does it not have the cut marks? I don't think this one's it. Yeah, this one's it. That's my brother printer. 100 double sided. And I want four of these. So, print. Okay, so we have now note paper. And I want to do the weekly ones, which I actually just recently bought those. I think it's these. Yeah. And I got these from the Planner Zoo. They're amazing. It's what I have here. I love them. These have really helped me stay on track. So I'm going to print a few of these out. Print. I'm going to do like six copies i think yeah okay so there's that so i have weekly I think I'm running out of paper over there i have plenty of paper but i have to um refill it and then i wanted to do some for wellness which for um wellness i wasn't sure if i wanted to use this layout or um if i wanted to use something i wanted something that was like a month on one page now, my friend um, did send, my friend, the one that sent me this cover, she sent me the 2021 overview, which I think may be great for wellness. So maybe I can do that with like a, kind of like, um, like an insert of like a meal planner of some sort. So maybe I don't have to print anything out for that. Okay, so let me go ahead and finish printing those out, and then I will update you all because then I'm going to have to cut it with my paper cutter and hole punch it, which lately I've been having an issue with, this is the hole puncher that I have, it's from Amazon, it works great, I use it for my personal size stuff, but this is what you have to do for the A5, and the edge of this broke, <laughs> so I've been having to kind of like, like, um, I don't know, like edge it up and all these things and sometimes I fail. So yeah, I'm gonna finish printing this out and then I will talk to you in a bit. So I did wanna show you all, um, this is my closet. It's like my craft closet in my office. I have a bunch of planners up there and over here I have my paper. So this is the paper that I use for my, um, for my planners. It's a lot thicker, it's a, what is it 32 pound paper um and this specific one the hp one is seems like to me it just seems like it's some of the best one um i like the brightness of it and everything um so i'm gonna grab a few of those because i need to refill it put this back this is like um cardstock sticker paper clear sticker paper and um this right here is the printer that i have so it's a brother printer um I don't know if that's what it is, the ink investment tank. I don't know, it's amazing. I had the biggest, I'm gonna lay this down. Okay, so I just refilled it. I'm sorry, my trash is down there. But um, I had so many printers that I had to test out and that one seems to be like the best. I don't know, I think this is the model, MFC J85DW. I got it for Christmas. My mother-in-law gave it to me for Christmas. Um, and it's been wonderful. Um, the ink is like, I think it's like, a, um, like, like refillable. So it's, like I said, it's definitely an investment and even the ink is an investment, but it lasts forever. Like I've printed so many things and it has yet to run out. So I definitely recommend. Um, but yeah, I will talk to you in a bit once I'm going to cut these and, um, hole punch them and yeah I'll see you in a little bit okay you guys and welcome back so here's what I have here I have 
all of these um, that I just printed. There's actually quite a bit, um, but what I do here is I just go through and I cut every single piece, every single page. Um, I have my paper cutter here. It's just a Frisca's, um, Frisca's paper cutter that I got from Michael's. Um, and I know there's like bigger ones that some girls use. I haven't really made that investment um, because I have this one and it seems to be working okay. I think I need to get a new blade, but it'll do for now. So what I do, and I'll um, zoom in, kind of close, um, what I do is you can see there's some lines right here and right over there. So I just align it up as best as I can. I am no perfectionist at this. And I just go ahead and cut. <laughs> um, I love the Planner Zoo and also um, the... Um, Simple and Trendy Co. because their lines are like all around and um, you won't miss it. You won't get confused or anything. There's other shops um, or printables that don't have that. And I'll have, I think, my Sammy's Planner is like that. Like if you can see, there's still, you can still see the small line right there and right up there. And that is so useful because then when you cut, lengthwise um you won't have any issues and do that and then we do the same thing on the other side and you'll be able to see the lines like i said i just do it as best as i can um and then i just set them off to the side i usually do two at a time because i feel like if i do more than that um, this paper cutter is not really made for more than that, honestly. So um, I'll just show y'all one more of this kind of printable. And then I'll move on to the other style. So you can see how um, other um, printables are like cutting. I will say I'm no perfectionist at this. I know some people are very like... Um, they like for it to be perfect. I don't really mind. It's my planner <laughs> at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, it's super easy. Um, I think I do have the advantage that I have a really good printer. Because um, it prints double-sided for me. And I know some people don't have that luxury some people um have to like manually like flip the page over and stuff but um i'm gonna finish cutting these weekly ones and then i'll show you all a different layout okay, in a little so bit. the next style that i have is just this um note paper and this is by a simple and um trendy co i also love her stuff because she also does um the lines that are both um length and the short ones the like on both sides so it's like super helpful when you're cutting um because i'll show you in a little bit some of the other ones like i think it's sammy's sammy's planner that she doesn't do both sides and not like gonna submit feedback or anything because she just has them like as freebies on her um on her drop box i mean if she were ever to open up a shop i'd probably like let her know like hey you may want to like um put lines on both sides but you know i think it's just amazing that she's just doing it um and sharing it with the community but yeah i'm gonna cut these up um and i feel like these are definitely not perfect but again, um, I just, I don't mind, whatever. <laughs> so there's those. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting that style up. And then I'll show you in a little bit where we're at. So this is the one that's um, by Sammy's Planner. And I am going to grab a pencil that I have off to the side over here. Along with um, like a ruler or a divider or something. Or you know what? Just a straight edge. So I'm going to go ahead and just align this up at the bottom 
and um, do this little thing. And just um, a one on each side will be enough. And I just like what I do is line it up at the bottom to know that it is straight. And then um, I'll just do that. And I got on there a little too much, but it's fine um, because it's pencil, which is why I use pencil. And I have two inserts that are stacked um, back to back that are by Sammy's Planner, and it's the exact same thing. So I'm just gonna stack them and use those same lines. So um, it works the same way, and you'll see, I'll show you why I um, do this whole thing, and I'll show you in a little bit. Okay, but just line it up as best as you can, cut it. And then do the other side. Mm, that's as good as it's gonna get. Okay, and see, and now that I've cut both short sides, um, you can see that like on this side, there would be no lines if I hadn't have done that, um, which is why I do that. So I'm just, Line it up and cut away. Perfect. And then do the same thing on the other side. Perfect. Okay, so there is that. And I have the rest that I have by her, um, they're all by her. So I'm going to have to do the same thing on all of these, which is quite a few. Um, but I'll go ahead and skip through that so you don't have to watch me do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. I realized I didn't print out all of them. Like I'm missing, this is August, so I'm missing... August, September, October, November, December, and I'm also missing um, May. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to cut up some more, um, but you won't have to watch that just because that would be boring. But um, it's gonna be the same thing. I already drew the lines there. Um, they're not completely perfect, but I don't, I don't really, I think I've said that plenty of times. I don't really care if it's not absolutely perfect. I mean, that's what I get for not like, for doing it at home, which is no big deal. I think at the end of the day, I think it still looks great. Like, could you be a perfectionist while doing those? Yeah, definitely. I think you could. Um, but, and I'll show y'all what it looks like because I feel like even though I'm not like, a super perfectionist, I think it still ends up looking pretty good. There's that. So then, so I'm gonna have to print out some more. I can't believe I missed them. I don't even know how that happened. I will say, I think you don't, I don't feel like you have to be absolutely like super precise when drawing the lines on the sides because as long as you mark where it needs to be, um, you edge it up at the end of the paper cutter and you'll know it's gonna be straight. So there it goes, like, see how that is? Like, just line it up it up at the top where the lines are and you're good just cut it perfect we got August right over here perfect I don't remember if I even needed extra monthlies Honestly, because I thought I wanted to use monthlies for wellness, but I think I'm going to use that year overview 
from cloth and paper instead of using monthlies. So I think this may be honestly kind of wasteful, but I mean, I could always use them for something. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my um, paper cutter. So let me grab that from my cart. Here it is. like these we do recycle so this is like all the stuff all the leftover stuff but we recycle so i mean yay <laughs> um okay so i'm gonna actually cut these first because i think i printed these by accident um and you'll see this specific um this kind of um hole puncher um i honestly think i broke it at one point so i don't think it cuts pretty well sometimes but you'll see so the way it works um this thing it comes it goes in and out it is at the a5 setting as you can tell right there so um that's how that works and then it has these back here which you can move um back and forth i don't need to do that right now but that's kind of you move it you slide it um and then this is on the A5 size, A5 size. So the way this works, you line it up over here. And see, mine broke. It used to have like a little piece of paper, not paper, um, plastic that would line up at the top. and would kind of tell you if it was lined up. But I just kind of eyeball it basically. And I guess that's why sometimes it doesn't come out right. And see, it's broken. Ugh. Yeah. I don't know why it does that. Um, I'll see if it works. And if not, then I may have to open it up and see what's holding it up there. Okay, that was okay. So the reason why I wanted to do this one first um, is because I feel like sometimes this doesn't cut right so i wanted to test it out before doing the rest and see like i don't know what it is like is it me <laughs> so okay i'm gonna try it out again thankfully i have these like throwaways I was right there. Okay. That's right there. And then I'm gonna try it out over here. See, it doesn't line up. Ugh. So annoying. Am I doing something wrong? Try that out. And I'm going to do it on the other side, just from not wasting so much of it. So and then, do this. Okay, so that worked. I think I just didn't have it pulled out enough, but that works and it lines up almost perfectly. I'm going to try one more just to be safe. So line it up at the bottom. Perfect. Okay, so I think that's going to work. I'm kind of nervous, so I'm going to try another monthly. And see if it works. I've been um, looking at another paper um, puncher from another shop, from another place. So I may try that out. Seems to be lining up. Okay, 
I'm going to try this one. And then we'll go on to the actual inserts I'm going to use. Yeah, see, that is lining up perfectly. Okay, so moment of truth. <laughs> okay, so here are the um, year at a glance that I have. So we're going to line it up. And then flip it over, line it up. And then in here, um, I have this one that I wanted to get rid of. I'm just gonna put both of them in the same one. Here's that. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut these up. These are my um, note paper. So I don't know why I'm like freaking out, so I'm gonna try this one more time just to make sure I'm not making any mistakes. Okay, yeah, it lined up. Perfect. So now I'm gonna grab some of the note paper that I have here. So there it goes. And these um, you just cut on the side that has more um, white space on this side and I always like to leave the larger margin at the top so you can tell this one's a little smaller. There's that. So I really think like if you were to get this one from Amazon, it wouldn't be um, the same thing that happens to me. It probably wouldn't happen to you. I just think that because mine broke, it doesn't um, line up the way it should. Okay, so now we're going to cut these up, which are my weekly inserts. I did buy um, a Moterm cover for my um, planner, so waiting for that to come in, but which is why I wanted to kind of have this planner um, set up as best as I could just before um, it arrives. Okay. So yeah, I mean, it's super easy. There's really nothing to it. Um, I think what's the hardest to actually do when it comes to printing and cutting your own is honestly the printing portion of it because um, printers are, they're a pain in the butt. <laughs> they really are. Um, but once you find a good printer, um, then you're good. You can always like probably like if you have an office depot near you, you can probably just get them done at an office depot and just take in your pay your own paper. Um my husband used to work at an office depot when he was like younger when he was a teenager. Um and I for the longest did not know you could take in your own paper. And I'm pretty sure Rana Plans talked about it on her on her account on her youtube channel where she takes in her own um paper to print her inserts or whatever it is that she wants to do when she needs to so yeah i mean I, that's how i do it i went ahead and put it all in my planner and that's what it looks like so i mean it i mean lines up pretty good there's really not many issues with it like even at the bottom like it just it lines up pretty well even on the sides and the top this one my cover i cut it wrong <laughs> um i was kind of desperate i was like running out of time and i wanted to get it done um and then this one is like an actual cloth and paper one so it's like a lot bigger i feel like because even like compared to my dividers you see how it goes over but 
yeah, I, I mean, I love printables. I think it's a great way for you to test things out, um, try a different layout, see how you like it, all that good stuff. Um, I think I need more note paper though, but I think it'll do for now. Yeah. I'll decide if I want to print out some more, but yay, it looks good. And that I did printables also with my, um, personal size printer like quite a few of them are printables and i'll show you really quick this is my personal size planner um this is a it came in a subscription box for cloth and paper i can't show that um but there's like a lot like these are printables by simple and trendy co um this is also printable by simple and trendy co I think the only thing that is not printables are like my um my weekly inserts and yeah i mean like my note papers by simple and trendy co like there's so much stuff that is just printables and i think it's a great way for you to try different things or if something doesn't work for you just change it up and i think it's great so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was informative um this is a complete different layout so i wanted to kind of show it usually and i'll show you up here um this is my like social media planner you can say <laughs> um sorry um but this is where i write down all my social media stuff and this week usually on mondays i post my personal size weekly plan with me um but instead i'm going to be posting this and then um tomorrow we'll be showing my craft cart faith planner and so on kind of trying to get back in the groove of things and find like a routine for um posting and editing and recording and all that stuff so it's working out pretty good um but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did um please give me a thumbs up <laughs> if you want to watch more of my videos please subscribe and um yeah i can't wait to see y'all tomorrow bye